Now to start off this dreaded video, I'm showing you guys game two of the quarterfinals against the Golden State Warriors. We did everything, no, no, not we. I did everything to ensure that our team will win tonight. I tried to get a lot of assists. I got a lot of turnovers trying to get assists. And I did just about what any point guard would do, put his life on the line. And it seemed like my team could not get back from a 10 point deficit. I got steals, I got rebounds, I got assists. I did just about everything. And even then, I don't succeed. So that just goes to show you, once you go down 10, you might as well forget about it. Now I can't even hold my head high because even though I performed good, my team didn't. And I'm gonna show you guys what type of performance my team actually brings to the table. Let's roll the next clip. Now, just to let you guys know, I tried to do this alone. Now one thing you can't do in NBA 2K15, you can't play alone. No matter what you do, no matter how you play, how good you are, your overall, never play alone. As you guys can see, I put up a 40 piece, almost a 50 piece, but I only have three assists. Now we are down almost 20 points, almost 20 points. I should have given up before the second half even started because I wasn't being a team player. And I will admit, I will admit, Steph Curry, he went for about 30 or 40, but Klay Thompson, he might have went for 50 that game. I don't know where he was, but he wasn't on this planet. He, it was like he was from, from Mars or something. It was insane. But check this out. Let me stop the regular schedule programming just to show you guys how paranoid, how scared, how antsy, how much willingness I had to win. My thought process really told me if I can't beat him, become him. Literally, guys, I changed my shots. I changed my dribble moves. I changed fadeaways, uh, post moves, layup packages. I changed everything to Steph Curry's. Literally, I had to go into create a roster, use the current roster from 2K servers, go into Steph Curry, and literally record all of his attributes, his, his signature skills, his signature styles, everything, just to see if he was really a glitch. Now, I will tell you guys, when I had quick release, it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. I wasn't getting that many perfect releases, but what I did notice was I was hitting shots more often. So I said, you know what? I'm going to be Steph Curry. And I know next game, I'm going to come in. We're going to get the win. We're going to come down from this two, two to one, you know, loss. But just to let you guys know, it ain't always what it seems. No matter how hot I am, no matter what my hot zones are, there's always something that can go wrong. Now, the only person that I can worry about on the court is Steph Curry. But what about Clay Clay? What about David Lee? What about Bogut? <sighs> what about Iguodala? Man, there's just so many people on this team. I don't know what I'm going to do. We're down 2-1. I'm testing out my jump shot. But I know you guys want to get back into the regular schedule program. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to give you guys some more gameplay because I know you want to see my, me get my ass bust. I know it. Everybody knows it. But let's hop back into it, y'all. Now, in this game, is game four. I trusted in my teammates all game long. And guess what? They didn't help me out here, guys. I promise you I did everything in my power. I have six turnovers. Monte Ellis went four for 12. Zero for three from the three-point line. No matter how many times I gave him the ball wide open, he did not capitalize. No matter how many times I gave it to him on a fast break and all he had to do was lay it up or dunk it, he couldn't capitalize. Now, it doesn't matter how many intentional fouls, how many points we score here. We're not going to come out with the W. It's only 19.6 seconds left. And I'm going to let y'all know now, I ain't nobody like Reggie Miller or Tracy McGrady. So we're going to take a, yet another loss, and right now they're bringing in the replacements. So, of course, it's over now. Now, 
I know what you guys are thinking. Wow, he just hit that shot. That's amazing. They're only down five. IKC can do it. They can come back. Nope. Not while my teams are, teammates are doing stuff like that. Instead of stopping Brandon Rush from, you know, advancing anymore and trying to steal the ball, they go for the intentional foul. And yeah, we get the rebound. He only hits one. I get the ball. But guess what? I can't hit shots like that. It was very late. It was an F quality. And yet again, we go with the intentional foul. So this game is over. It's in the books. It's nothing that we can do besides go back to Golden State and try to win because we've lost every game at home and every game since game one. So, just to let you guys know, a cut scene is about to happen. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. Any explanation for missing shoot around this morning? I had a previous engagement. I got three letters for you. J-O-B. Basketball is your job now, not a hobby. And I don't care if your grandma was run over by a bus, the apocalypse is upon us, or downtown gets hit by a flood. You need to be here when we have scheduled team activities, period, end of story. I'm gonna have to dock you some minutes for this. You gotta understand there are consequences for your actions. This getting through to you? Little does he know. Absolutely, sir. It won't happen again. I'll make sure of it. Glad we understand each other. Now get out of here. All right, ladies. Game five, the elimination game. Man, I tried everything this game. I put it all on the line here. No matter how many clips you see, no matter how much bull crap you see, I tried everything to win this game. We were leading, we were down, we were in the seesaw. I did just about everything. But guess what? Everything crumbles when your teammates can't hit shots. So I've been sweeping it under the rug. Oh, you know what? Using the word sweep is so funny because I feel like the 2000 and 2001 76ers, we literally got swept after winning game one. Now, I've been sweeping it under the rug for a while now, and I feel like I'm just not made for Dallas. I feel like Dallas just may not be the place for me. You know, and the coach just showed me that, you know, I'm not at team schedule practices. I'm not at shoot arounds. I'm not doing anything with my teammates. I don't think that I'm a good fit here. I don't think I was a good fit from the get go. Now, of course, I tried to work with Dirk, tried to work with Monte, but I don't think this is the team for me. So during this offseason, I'm going to play the field. I'm going to see what teams are looking at me. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep playing on Hall of Fame. I don't care how hard it is, but I just wasn't ready in my first year. So I'm not going to try to, you know, win a chip on easy. Now, after this game, <laughs> this little conversation we had was so funny, but let's do it. Just getting one last look. Yeah, man, it's been a long road. Can't believe the season's over. Hey, listen, I had a blast playing with you this year. You came a long way, but now you got some decisions to make. Wait, play, wait talk for the next year or so. My advice is just trust your gut. You know what feels right when you see it. I'm going to holler at you later in the summer to see where your mind is at. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, bro. You got it. No matter what you decide, we always going to be boys. So he told me to trust my gut, ladies and gentlemen. So I need to be fed the right way. This is our KC signing out. Peace. Yeah.